How about this one? Wild hogs are nothing new to farmers in the South, but a new way to catch them perhaps is. Professors inside LSU's chemistry department are leading the way to add another tool in all of this. Our Chris Rosado has the details. Chris. Yeah, Greg, wild hogs are a constant problem for farmers down here, causing up to $90 million in damages each year to Louisiana crops. And farmers often rely on their own guns and traps to fight these beasts off, but soon they may not have to rely on them as much. Wild hogs are one of the most invasive species when it comes to damaging farmlands, eating up all kinds of crops like the ones we grow here at home. They can also produce at an alarming rate. A single female can have up to 400 babies in just three years. According to experts, our state alone has more wild hogs than there are people in Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and Shreveport combined. But a new patent pending bait being developed at LSU hopes to help fight them off. We need to kill about 800,000 a year for the population to be stable. So this is an enormous problem. Professor John Poyman is a chemist at LSU who was asked to come up with a bait that would not only kill the hogs, but also remain environmentally friendly. They pose a threat to levees, they damage uh, property. So it's a very serious problem, but they're very, very smart. And so we need to have a mechanism that can not only kill the hog humanely, which this does, but also to make sure that if any scavenger comes upon the carcass, it isn't poisoned. Farmers often need to fight the beasts off themselves using their guns and traps to solve the problem. But it takes a lot to stay on top of keeping them away and running the farm. The new bait will hopefully help reduce that burden. I mean, the example could be, you know, we've developed rat poison, but we haven't eliminated rats, right? I mean, I think it's going to be one more tool in the arsenal to keep the population in control. As you go north, there, the problem is much bigger, and it has a very big crop impact to the grain farmers that plant up there. Heath Morris owns a sugarcane and soybean farm out in Port Allen. A couple years ago, he and his neighbors had to kill off an entire herd. We were very proactive in trying to get rid of it, and it was typically we saw them during our harvest season. When you were cutting cane, we saw them running out of the cane, so we would set up with with guns and, and with people, you know, who were qualified, of course. And whenever they came out, I mean, they were, they were shot. Heath says having to protect his crops 24 seven while staying on top of the farming is almost impossible for any farmer to do without help. And adds once the product is available for sale, he'd be interested in stocking up. If the problem reemerged for me, yeah, absolutely. It'd be a product that we would be interested in. And I'm sure a bunch of farmers up north you know, the, the guys who really do have the problems, they're itching to get it out there. We can work together to help a problem that's really important to the citizens of Louisiana. I'm very proud as a resident of Louisiana and an employee of the state of Louisiana to be able to help with that. Now, LSU says it's currently waiting to get EPA approval for, for them to be able to begin field testing their product and for the government to issue their patent before they can begin to put this on the shelves. Greg? All right, Chris, thank you for that. Very interesting.